My name is Skylar Smith here at Apogee Instruments and today we're going to talk about how to wire up the ST150 ambient air temperature sensor, the CS240 back of panel module temperature sensor and the TS100 aspirated radiation shield to the SMA cluster controller. All of these components are part of our PV100 monitoring package from Apogee Instruments which also includes the pyranometer, the SP214 which is part of a different wiring video and so if you're looking for wiring instructions on that, just click on the comments below and then you can find that video. So let's start with the CS240. And this is what the back of module temperature sensor looks like. Right there it's got a little bit of adhesive. And then it will also come with some captain tape to be able to mount that on the back of your panel. So the wiring for this, it comes with seven conductors here. Two black, to red, to white, and a shield. For our application connecting to the SMA cluster controller, we'll just go ahead and bend down the black conductors because we don't need them. So I mean, if you want to trim them off, wh whatever your needs are. So we'll start with the shield and we're going to be working on terminal X7 down here. And we're going to start on row B, which is the bottom one. And so the first terminal here is going to be the shield and then the next one is going to be the white conductor and it actually doesn't matter which white conductor you can choose either and then the next one's going to be a red conductor and again it doesn't matter you can choose either then we can choose the other white conductor that goes in the fourth one and then the last one is the other red now the way we can check ourselves here is if our cluster controller is powered up, we can just push down until we get to meteorology. And then we can see our second one says module temperature and it's giving us a reading right now. And it, is a, it looks like an accurate reading. So we know that that is wired up correctly. Now we're going to talk about the ST150 ambient air temperature sensor. And this is what it looks like. You can see our class A PRT. So we'll just slide that back into the TS100 shield there. If you do order the PV100 package, it will come already pre-glued into the port that goes in the side of the TS100 shield. So this one comes with five conductors. It comes with a shield, a red, a black, a green, and a white. And we'll just be using all five of these conductors. So we're now on X7 row A. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to put the shield in first, in the first terminal. The second one is going to be the white conductor. Then the next one is going to be the black conductor. Then we have the green conductor into the fourth terminal there. And then we have the red conductor. And again, once that's all connected, we can just scroll down here and we can see our ambient temperature and it is giving us uh, a believable reading. The last thing we need to do today is power the fan on our TS100. And it's really important to use an active shield when you're taking these ambient air temperature me measurements. And we have on our other video, the PV100 video, uh, some graphs that show the data we collected on active radiation shields versus those passive shields. So to power the fan on this, it needs the 12 volt power supply. Uh, included in the PV100 is this little DC to DC converter that takes 24 volts DC, which is also already available, and converts it to 12 volts. So the conductors from the TS100, there are seven of them. Uh, we can bend down all but the red and the black. We only need the red and the black for our application. And then so connected already to the converter is the 24 volts powered off the 24, 24 volt power supply. So we will go ahead and the middle one here, we will connect the black conductor to. And then the one on the end will be our red to power up the 12 volts on the fan.
and as we slide him in and tighten him down, we can hear the fan. We can also feel the air coming off the fan and we know we're getting those accurate ambient air temperature measurements. Thank you very much for watching how to wire up the ST150 ambient air temperature sensor, the CS240 back of panel module temperature sensor, and then powering the TS100 aspirated radiation shield. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.